Give it up for Nine and Numb. Nine and Numb. A day editing the Wikipedia page for the Muppets, John Hooper! Spoiler yeah. yeah. alert, she's the uh, true heir to the Iron Throne of the Seven Kingdoms, Ashley Kent! Yeah. And he will not rest until he finds the real killer, Jim Johnson. Yeah. Uh, here, despite the court order that he stay 100 yards away from railroad tracks, John Watson! Survivor of 14 ninja attacks, Eric Monster! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the scars to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the man who was just bitten by a radioactive spider, but nothing interesting has happened yet, David yeah. Becker! Yeah. Uh, how, many, how, many people, uh, how many people have been here for the entire festival? Three days. Awesome. Few people. <laughs> and uh, how many people are attending? Uh, tonight is their first night attending the festival. Oh, of, of you, of you, how many, how many have never seen an improv show before? No, oh, we're all experienced. <laughs> we're all experienced. So you know when I when I say uh, please name say uh, a color you would not want your car to be. Fuchsia. Oh. Very cool. Robin. Fuchsia. Very cool. Fuchsia. Very cool. Robin's egg blue. Uh, so you know you know how this works. Uh, there is no show without you, but don't let it go to your heads because there's no show without us. I. The <laughs> first uh, first first game we'd like to play is uh, called Ninety Nine. It, it, it demonstrates how we can make a uh, an unfunny joke out of any any object you give us. Uh, let's start with uh, let's start with an article of clothing. Scarf. Scarf. Uh, I like I like scarf. I like scarf. Uh, and uh, you'll see how this game works very quickly. Ninety-nine scarves walk into a bar. The bartender says, "We don't serve your kind here." The scarf turns to the one scarf turns to the rest and says, "We better wrap this up." <laughs> Ninety-nine scarves walk into the bar. The bartender says, "Hey, we don't serve your kind around here." The scarves say, "Well, that really brings our necks." <laughs> Ninety-nine scarves walk into a bar. The bartender says, uh, "We don't serve your kind in here." One of the scarves says, what a nitwit. <laughs> 99 scarves walk into a bar. The bartender says, hey, 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 we don't serve your kind in here. And the scarves say, <laughs> 99 scarves star go to a bar, and they have to go through the bouncer first. They have to whip out their ID. And they go to the bar, and the bartender says, hey, can I see some ID? And they're like, what do you sell us some ID? And the first 99 scarves says, he wants to see your card again. <laughs> Bar bartender says, We don't serve your kind here, especially after what you did last time when you trashed the place, when you robbed us at gunpoint. My man Scar said, Hey, we were just an accessory. Oh. <laughs> uh, something, something you would find. Oh. 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 In a hospital. Needle. 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 A vegetable. Cabinet. 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 I heard a syringe. <laughs> syringe. 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 Yes. Wow. Holy shit. Really? What is the second suggestion? <laughs> syringe walks up in the bar and says, give me a shot. <laughs> 99 syringes walk into a bar and the bartender says, hey, we don't serve your kind around here. And they say, why? We're not full of heroin. <laughs> 99 syringes walk into the bar and the bartender says, we don't serve your kind here. They said, can you just play one song on the jukebox for us? I've got you under my skin. <laughs> 99 syringes walk into a bar the bartender says, we don't serve your kind around here. 99 syringes say, that's okay, we were just going to stick around. <laughs> 99 syringes walk into a bar and the bartender says, we don't serve your kind around here. And 99 syringes are like, ow, oh, what a prick. <laughs> Walk into a bar, bartender says, We don't serve your kind here. And then 
fine Spanish syringes walking up to a bar. Or does it say, we don't serve your kind here? No, that syringe just says, see, see. <laughs> 99 syringes walk into a bar in East New York during the 1980s. <laughs> We don't serve your kind around here. The syringes say, but we're clean. <laughs> <laughs> no AIDS. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 how about, uh, how about a, an animal that you would not want to have in your house? A goldfish. Okay. Right. 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 A rhino. A rhino. Uh, he does not want a goldfish in his house, but he does want to hear some goldfish jokes. <laughs> nine nine goldfish walk into a bar bar and says, we don't serve your kind here. Nine nine goldfish say, we were just going to belly up to the bar. Oh. Nine nine goldfish walk into a bar the bartender says, we don't serve your kind here. One of the goldfish says, damn it, I hate that. And the other one says, shut up, don't stop carving. Ah. Oh. <laughs> nine nine goldfish walk into a bar bar and says, we don't serve your kind here. The goldfish say, oh, what? Now that goldfish walks into a bar bartender and says, We do not take kindly to goldfish around these parts. Now that goldfish say, We just came here to get tanked. Now that goldfish walks into a bar. The bartender says, We do not serve goldfish in this bar. You've been drinking all day. <laughs> as to why he's late for work. And uh, Jim and I are going to be John's uh, co-workers who, unbeknownst to the boss, are trying to signal the right excuse. So uh, give, me, uh, give me something that, uh, that, that might happen to you. Velociraptor mauling. <laughs> Velociraptor mauling. Yeah, and uh, uh, what, what what body part got uh, got mauled? Face. 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 Liver. Liver. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, what language were the Velociraptors speaking? Swahili. Going on. on. <laughs> All right. And uh, uh, something. Uh, uh, something that would take at least 25 minutes to do. Building room. 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 I heard building room. I, I heard that. We're <laughs> <laughs> hot pockets. Building room. Building room. Out of hot pockets. Yes. Okay, we're only on to like eight. <laughs> and uh, finally, uh, what's your favorite TV show? <laughs> I'm a Murphy. I'm a Murphy. Breaking, breaking bad uh, 
So, uh, oh, uh, and uh, a character from uh, Breaking Bad. Jesse Pinkman. Huel. And Jesse Pinkman needed needed an item from John. Matt. <laughs> Not Matt. A Jesus statue. A Jesus statue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. It's a uh, a Cleon a, a Cleon Velociraptor ball his liver. Gotcha. He had to build Rome out of hot pockets. Beautiful. And Jesse Pinkman needed a Jesus statue. <laughs> all right. On the count of three, we'll say, Hey, Hooper. One, two, three. Hey, Hooper. Hey, Hooper. Oh, and one more thing. Where does John Hooper work? You can stay. Inner truth. The truth is like the sock. Yeah, you can go factory. Uh, Chris Thor. CC's. He's late for work for CC's. Hope. <laughs> Boss. Hey. Where have you been? Ah, oh, the lunch shift is almost over. <laughs> well, we're out of pepperonis. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Listen, listen, listen. I was on my way to work when groundhogs were there. <laughs> groundhogs. They were rabid groundhogs. I'm telling you, and they saw their shadows and everything. It was, it was bunnies without ears. It was, it was. They were big old tall prairie dogs. You're afraid of a groundhog? <laughs> Have you seen their incisors? They're huge, baby. They're big old dogs. Big deal. The, 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 it, was, it was vampire uh, meerkats, I'm telling you. And they, and they had pasties on. <laughs> I don't think that makes any sense at all. You better start telling me the truth there. Go, all right, all right, all right. The truth is, the truth is that uh, that these these uh, pterodactyls, these uh, Tyrannosaurus rexes. That's awfully big. Yeah. <laughs> An awfully big lie. No, oh, it's a big Tyrannosaurus Rex. They were huge, and they were, and they weren't on the, they were digging. <laughs> they were smiling for pictures. <laughs> back to Brownhouse. No, we're back to the, 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 the source. I think I know a T-Rex is out there, and I've seen it on the news. We do have Fox News up at all times. <laughs> they can't even hide that. So the, 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 the Tyrannosaurus Rexes, they were, uh, they were on the ground. They were they were riding the subway. They, were, they, they can't hold the handles because they got <laughs> my great grandfather. I'm not being personal, but they were tiny T Rexes. They were they were pocket sized T Rexes. They were they were, they were they so maybe not miniature T Rexes. They were bonsai T Rexes. They were midget T Rexes. <laughs> so smaller than a T Rex. Smaller than they were larger than a bread box. But they were T Rexes, but. <laughs> they were there are thousands of dinosaur they were, species. They were, they were, they were, they were lowercase T Rexes. <laughs> <laughs> they were tiny the Rexes. They were they were they were the size of poodles. <laughs> they were they were picking on each other. I'm <laughs> one was, was grooming the other. <laughs> you know, to me maybe I get some DNA. Oh, okay. Well, the, the it was I was it was uh it was Jurassic Park. The T Rexes at Jurassic Park. <laughs> and there was only one T Rex at Jurassic Park. Yeah. One could not stop you. You're wily. You're very fast. <laughs> well, yeah. The T Rex has longer legs. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 I I booked our trip from Velocity to Jurassic Park. Oh. You know, just yeah. making sure before the rapture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get that done. He's working, lady! Get out of my store! Nice! Look up, look up, it, was, it wasn't T-Rex, is it? Oh, now you're changing your store! No, no, I'm changing my dinosaur! <laughs> it was a lot of raptors. Oh! <laughs> and from Vulcan, from the planet Vulcan. And they, really, they seem like they would be pacifistic. Well, not nearly. Yeah, that's what they want. What you to do? Oh, what you to do? Uh, it was, it was, it was <laughs> velociraptors, and uh, they were they were they were alien velociraptors. <laughs> well, of course, they're not on Earth. Velociraptors from another planet. Well, that makes sense. They beamed in, and they and uh, they were they were mean <laughs> velociraptors from a, from a alien planet, and they did not. They were Vulcan velociraptors. <laughs> And, and, and I'm not seeing that. They were both. Hey, hey, did you find a clean rat? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> they got a pretty 
Yeah, so yeah, put, put the clean wrap on this on the sauce. Yes. Okay. Put it, they're on top of the sauce this time. On top of the on top of okay. Right. They were put they were lots of wrapping clean ups. Clean ups are bad enough. Lots of wrappers are bad enough. These yeah. are and I was attacked. You were attacked by my lots of wrapping clean ups. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. And they ate my Appendix. <laughs> you can live without an appendix. I know. I want to see my scar. They ate my spleen. You can live without a spleen as well. They ate my hernia. <laughs> you wish. They, they ate an, an internal organ. They ate my lip. My God damn it. <laughs> organs that get drunk. Oh, well, they ate my liver. <laughs> Ate my freaking liver. All right, so that explains the five minutes, but you were oh. 35 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, I oh, God. was. Um, oh, God. I was uh, watching in, I was checking the time. And I, yeah, right. What did that do? Yeah, I was. Um, yeah, no. I, 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 um, you were eating? Yeah. We're a restaurant! <laughs> a shitty restaurant, I understand, but we're a restaurant. Uh, every now and again you want more than buffet. And uh, I was, I was uh, at a rock wall. Uh, he didn't get a rock wall. No, I was not. I was, uh, <laughs> You're not fit enough for this. What was... Wrong with you. I did I take Elbridge at that? Well, anyway, I was, I was, I was singing. You were singing. Uh, I, was, I was being attacked by the Romans of Mars and by the Roman Senate. And oh, I was, I was eating a Caesar salad. I was, yeah, yeah. Right, Caesar salad. We sell that, yes. And I was, and I was stacking Caesar. We were stacking Caesar. I was, I was, I was looking at a stack waitress at Caesar's palace. <laughs> And then uh, I was, uh, that was Caesar. So where were you when this was happening? Um, I was back in, was... I was back in time. I was in the ancient Roman oh. Empire. I was, I was building the Colosseum. Actually, you were building. I was, I was, uh, I was in time. I was telling Caesar to stay away from the Senate. I was back in time. I was meddling. In the <laughs> I was a naughty Let's go back to the yes. building of the Colosseum. Yeah, hey, well, 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 can you help me with my Latin homework? <laughs> yeah. What did Romulus and Remus do? They got real friendly with a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I founded Rome. I went back in time and I founded Rome. And uh, There it is. That's all you did. Yeah, I'm well, there it is. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Nothing else. I built the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's not as easy as you would think. <laughs> okay. The wolf's got to be into it, but uh, anyway. So I was uh, back in time, ancient Rome, and I was chiseling, I was sculpting, I was building, building. City in Italy known as? I was building Pompeii. Oh. <laughs> Rome. Rome. Hey. Watch out, watch where are those little calzones with pepperonis in them? What are they called again? Um, they're called like uh, hot pockets. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I uh, was building Rome, and it took me more than a day. <laughs> and I was, I was building with, with hot pockets. <laughs>
<laughs> we might be all chronically up in my group. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you know, if you're like an M or really, if you're coming up in my grill, my teeth, my my caps, uh, my crowns, I and then uh, I passed a couple of stoners and had to walk around them. Just one stoner, I think. Oh yeah. Not a stoner anymore. Oh. Well, that could be murderer. Oh, not a stoner. Murderer, not a stoner. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> my, my nephew needs help with that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, bitch. Yo. Oh, Yo. Remember me from earlier? I remember you from earlier. Oh. Yeah. Hey, it's time for your break. Oh, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> I was in New Mexico mm -hmm. with my old science teacher, yeah. and uh, we were making meth really? <laughs> in the desert. I don't know if we yeah. had yeah. Who was there? Uh, Walter White. And the other one. Um, uh, the, the... Go Pigs! <laughs> oh. Blanking on his name. Um, it wasn't, wasn't Walter White, and it wasn't... Uh, um, uh, <laughs> Pinkerton. 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 Yeah. Man. Pink, Pinkman. 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 Yes. Yeah. It was. What about him? Well, it, I was hanging out with Heisenberg and Pinkman. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, and I was hanging. I was crucified. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a quick healer. Uh, and it was, it was a velociraptor and I was, uh, I was <laughs> hot pockets. I was cross. Thing. I was, it was a cross between Heidelberg and, 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 and Heidelberg. So we went to Germany. Yeah. So what did Pinkman need from you? Uh, Pinkman needed... Um, uh, <laughs> Guys, uh, first of all, um, uh, uh, something, something, something that a, a U.S. president has said. I know I what? Said that woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like yeah. bite the bullet. <laughs> really? Really? You're gonna pick it? <laughs> uh, and uh, and for for Ashley, uh, the the catchphrase of a uh, TV or movie character. Alonzi. 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 Bitch, Frosch. 
um, uh, something something that you would would hear in a classroom. The doggy. President, you failed. I didn't have to do that. I'm going to lose. Yes. Castle shirt. You you failed. I like. <laughs> And uh, something that you might hear during a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Celsius. What am I doing with my life? Critical. <laughs> uh, my elf. I'll never have. What am I doing yeah. with my life? <laughs> <laughs> I like D and D. I'll have sex with her. I rolled two D twelve to hit. <laughs> and uh, finally, uh, what am I doing with my life? Critical. 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 You would, uh, you would call a sibling in front of your grandmother. Shit, the right. <laughs> <laughs> meet your grandmother. Yeah. Waste, Waste of space. Waste of space. Yes. Waste of space. <laughs> and uh, finally, um, something, uh, something that a doctor might say to a nurse. Oh shit. <laughs> We're in trouble now. We're in trouble now. Uh, so, uh, 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 Jim, you're, you're rephrasing this. Bite the bullet, you fail. Waste of space. And Ashley. I don't see. What am I doing with my life? We're in trouble now. We're in now. trouble now. <laughs> All right, and uh, we, we need a, uh, let's, uh, let, let's specify a relationship. We don't know which two people will have that relationship, but uh, siblings, uh, a, a married couple, any relationship. Co-workers. Plumbers. Co-workers. 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 And uh, uh, what, what sector of business? Are the law. 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 Intelligence. At least two of you are co-workers in intelligence. Wow. All right. <clears throat> okay. I've got the map of the Tora Bora region right here. <laughs> now. I'm what? Lindsay. We're why? in trouble now. <laughs> why, why are you talking in your watch? <laughs> we're not spies. <laughs> we're analysts. <laughs> waste of space. Yes, yes, the entire country of Afghanistan pretty much is a waste of space. But um, we're, let's, let's focus on our task here now. Um, what we, am I doing with my life? I don't know, but how much did you pay for that watch? <laughs> okay, um, now, we've gotten reports that we've got um, uh, rebel fighters here, here, and here. What am I doing with my life? Bite the bullet. Uh, yes, we hope that we will make them bite the bullet. That's, that's the whole point of this operation. Okay? Now, what we have to do is we have to figure out some way to get our forces in to the mountainous region. You failed. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. Now, I, I could use some help here. You're supposed to be the expert on transportation. <laughs> Waste of space. <laughs> I'm starting to agree with you. Now, okay. Now you're 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 the logistics expert, okay? So how we're in trouble now. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. All right. We need to be able to supply our team with ammunition, um, water, food, that kind of thing. Okay. How do how do you suggest? Bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. Right. Right. Okay. What am I doing with my life? I have absolutely no idea. Um, look, here. Well, let's go to something a little easier. Um, let's find a code name for the operation. How about LZ. that? Uh, if we were in the French Foreign Legion, perhaps. But uh, no, no. Let, let's do something that uh, our troops can actually pronounce. We you fail. <laughs> I don't think that sends the right message. We're in trouble now. And neither does that. Um, um, maybe something a bit more patriotic, something that will inspire the troops. Bite the bullet. I like that. Okay, we'll call it Operation Bite the Bullet. All right, excellent. Okay, now, um, what we really have to do is figure out how to get the troops from the airbase to the mountains. I don't see. 
Where, where are you going? Where's the space? <laughs> That's a great idea. What are you doing with my life? We'll use, we'll use tanker trucks. The portable bathroom tanker trucks. <laughs> that is a great idea. They'll never see it coming. We'll drive them right up into the mountains and waste of space. <laughs> we shoot them through the air and land them in the mountains. Space! We shoot them through space and land them in the mountains. Okay, well... Like the bullet. Yeah, yes, that is the operation. Okay, well, I tell you what, we'll go ahead and we'll run this idea up the flagpole and see who salutes, okay? I don't see. Alright. Okay. That's The next game, uh, we'd, like, we'd like to play something called Infomercial. And uh, uh, Mr. Hooper and uh, Mr. Miser will be, uh, will be, will be, because improv is not all fun and games. We do have to pay the bills. And so we will be trying to sell you a product for, for a few minutes here. Uh, what, 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 what is the product that would cost at least $50 that we're trying to sell you? Automatic shoe sounder. Automatic what? Shoe shine. A shoe shine. Uh, all right, it, it is a shoe shine, but uh, it, it 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 doesn't shine shoes. It's it's more it's a, a more special item than that. What what does it polish? Spaghetti. Gold shoes. Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. It is uh it is it is the uh, the Ramco spaghetti polisher, and uh, we we may. Uh, we may have a few calls into the show later. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to QVC. <laughs> I'm here again with my colleague, Richard. <laughs> Richard has a product to show us. Yes, I do. And if you call within the next 30 minutes, we'll also include... What do you have for them? Great calls. Meatballs. We we will include meatballs, but show us the product that you have for us, Richard. How many times have you had spaghetti that was not only al dente, but also al dente? <laughs> it happens more often than I'd like to think. That's right. Many people sit down to a bowl of spaghetti and say, I cannot eat this. It is dirty. <laughs> so I had invented the spaghetti polisher. Now, this machine will polish spaghetti. Well, that is amazing, Richard. Now, does it polish only spaghetti? Or will it polish, let's say, linguine? Uh, could you put a uh, farfalle in there, perhaps? <laughs> You can put in lasagna, you can put in rigatoni, you can put in vermicelli. That is, that, that is amazing. Ring, well, let, ring, uh, ring, that's interesting. I haven't even started the calling part of the show, but hey, <laughs> let's see who it is. Hello, you're on the air. Hi. Hey, uh, yeah, I just bought your, uh, your thing a couple weeks back. And, uh, well, I, I stick my little spaghetti noodle in there. <laughs> and it's really shiny now, but it's really long. <laughs> How do I get it back? Um, get it back? W where did it go? <laughs> oh, it's there. I just want it to be normal again. Uh, Richard, do you have some sort of spaghetti D polisher? <laughs> yes, this switch has two settings, forward and reverse, in case you get a glare off the noodle. That, that's right. Um, in fact, some of these lasagna noodles are like little mirrors. Yes. I can see myself. I hope that answers your question, caller. Yes, thank you. Yes, OK. Um, now, uh, Richard, yes? for our special television audience, how much are you charging? for this amazing item. This spaghetti polisher can be yours for one 
no payment of $19.95. That's $19.95, ladies and gentlemen. One, one payment. <laughs> we, 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 we tend to like to stretch it out. You know, it helps us with the income, you know, monthly. <laughs> 19 monthly payments. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 19 payments of $1. 19 easy payments. But wait. There's more. There is more. If you call to order the spaghetti polisher, we will throw in the automatic twirling fork. <laughs> twirling spaghetti is Time consuming. Time consuming and you get the carpal tunnel. So this fork, you push the button. <laughs> that is amazing, Richard. Yes. I can't tell you how many times I've said, damn, I'm far too tired to twirl my own spaghetti. <laughs> and, and now I don't have to. Perfect spaghetti twirl every time. Ring, 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 ring. Uh, it seems like we have another caller. All right, caller, you're on the air. We have a, a speaker now. Oh, good. Uh, yes, this, this is Bob. I, I work for Garden Restaurants. So, uh, I need to order about a thousand of those for my Olive Garden restaurants. Uh, a thousand of the uh, automatic spaghetti twirlers? Uh, no, the spaghetti polisher. I don't know if you've been to Olive Garden lately. Our, our spaghetti just, well, dingy was a good way to describe it. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let me have you talk to Pat, and she'll get that order right out to you. Thank awesome. you so Thank you. much. Thank you. Now, uh, Richard, oh. are you throwing in this uh, spaghetti twirler for free? It is an incentive. You buy the spaghetti polisher. It is a bonus. For 19 easy payments of $1. $1. All right. Is there anything else that you need to sell today, Richard? Well, well there, there is more. There is more? Yes, there is more. How many times have you had spaghetti and the meatballs roll off the spaghetti and down the side of the thing? <laughs> Meatball around it. It happens all the time. Yes, yes. That's why we are offering meatball picks. Meatball picks. Meatball picks. You put the pick in the meatball and you stick the meatball and the spaghetti and it doesn't roll. That's interesting. What are the picks made out of? Bread. So they're like crouton picks. Yes. Well, that, that is amazing, Richard. Thank you. Um, and, and remember, you can have all this for one low price of $19.99, spaced out in 19 easy payments of $1 and ring, one. Ring, That's ring, almost ring. a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have time for one last caller. Uh, yes, caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hi. Uh, use your, uh, your spaghetti polisher. It doesn't work for your noodles. It not, it not work for the udon noodles. For the for the udon noodles. <laughs> um, well, Richard, um, is there anything you can say to a, a, a customer who needs some help? You give me money now. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps perhaps there's a different setting for Asian noodles. Yes, yes, there is. Over here, we have a setting for your rice, for your your. I think she's got you there, Richard. That's your hands. Ma'am, we're terribly sorry, and um, we'll send you free the uh, noodle twirling spoon and the meatball crouton picks. I know you think bar. I'm sorry, I, know, I, 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 don't eat meat. I think we're going through a tunnel. <laughs> Thank you very much. And remember, get those payments in. And all this can be yours. And there's no more. We have time for one more, one more quick thing. Uh, we'd like to do something we call genre. I need uh, David Becker. John Watson actually kicks. And uh, we're going to we're going to watch a movie, but the genre of the movie is going to shift abruptly. Uh, could I have an initial genre for our spaghetti western? 
<laughs> spaghetti Western. You know, the spaghetti Western, and uh, what, what, is, what is the initial problem in uh, this dusty Italian Western American town? No water. Too many cats. Not a meatballs. Not a meatballs. This is a beat. group. <laughs> I'm here for some skin. <laughs> and some meatballs. I, I, know. <laughs> I heard you had the best balls <laughs> this side of the Mississippi. Okay, a new genre. Fantasy. Okay. Fantasy. <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> There's no purpose to that. No, no, no. I'm really hungry. I learned magic tricks for food. We don't have any meatballs. Okay. One singular meatball. I guess we do have a meatball. <laughs> this problem was really solved easily. <laughs> That's it now? <laughs> yeah. Magnified it's, a lot. It's perfect. Pause, new genre. Wrong. Indie. Wrong. In, in, in the mumble core. Indie mumble core. <laughs> a very, very low budget indie movie. <laughs> ah! Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're ready for your close-up, honey. <laughs> Wait, 